my Costco order came at the same time as my Amazon order, so it's a very busy holiday right now. Going to do a quick haul in the hallway here. Um, I got my Frozen's over here, so a lot of this is on sale. So I got, I think, 17 items in here for like $150. Um, but vegetable spring rolls, um, got the vegetable blend. So I like this one actually because the stuff doesn't get too soggy. Um, they had sweet potatoes this week, so I bought some. And then also the Tyson um, boneless chicken bites were on sale, so I bought some of those. I've never tried them before, we'll see how they are. Um, I also bought a 12 pack of corn because I keep running out of corn and you know I love corn. Um, and then in terms of the deli items, I got this to make some lettuce wraps. So I got some shrimp salad. Um, it has a lot more mayonnaise in it than I thought it would. Over here I got some salads. So these are the twin pack, it's a sweet kale. It was on sale this week, so I bought some. Um, got some pears because I love pears and it's pear season. And then I also got some grapes because as you know, I love the grapes from Costco. Over here I got two, two packs of soup, lobster bisque and the minestrone, or minestrone, however you say it. Um, both of these are on sale this week, so I picked them up for some quick and easy lunches. And I also got a seaweed salad for um, with the shrimp salad in my lettuce wrap. And then I also got this roasted garlic greens blend because it was on sale. It also sounded really nice and like a quick and easy meal. Um, I also got some organic, not organic, barbecue sauce here. And then finally the chicken pad thai um, because this was also on sale and I've never seen it before. We'll see how it is. The noodles probably will be a little bit iffy. Dinner today is seaweed salad and then some lettuce wraps with shrimps in it. So, or shrimp, sorry. I worked out for an hour, my brain is fried. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this has a lot of mayonnaise on it, and I also realized that a pound of shrimp is a lot of shrimp, which is how much I got in that container, so yeah, gotta eat it fast. I just cut open these chips. These are the veggie chips Thai curry and lime that I got at TJ Maxx for too much money, um, but this is what they look like. They look like little um, shrimp chips, kind of that sort of texture, um, but they're obviously made from veggies, so I'm gonna give them a go and I'll let you know what I think about them. A little bit more of a view of the texture. Okay, the review here is that it's a nice mellow flavor, a little bit salty, um, but it's definitely like a red curry flavor, so a little bit of a hint of sweetness, kind of, um, but not spicy in any way, so that's my review. It is quite a nice, and I will probably finish the bag. I don't know if I'd repurchase it, because $4.99 for a bag of chips is kind of expensive, in my opinion, but let me know if you tried them before. For lunch today, I made a rice bowl with some shrimp salad, seaweed salad, pineapple, and then some red pepper flakes and some citrus garlic blend. Good morning, it snowed for the first time, it's Wednesday. Okay, breakfast today, I woke up really hungry so I made two mini bagels I found in my freezer. <laughs> so anyway, this is lunch, no it's not breakfast, and I'm gonna go into my office. Making this for dinner today. I just did like an hour workout watching some YouTube videos. Um, so I'm pumped. I'm actually also very hungry. So I'm gonna put a couple of these in the air fryer as well. So these are the Royal Asia ones. Um, the packaging could be better. It was just kind of like folded and with a little bit of tape. See? Um, so I mean, I wish it was like sealed fully, but that's just me. I also only made half a bag of salad because it seemed like a lot. So I'll have the other half for lunch tomorrow, but kind of excited. <laughs> The self care today with the peel foot mask. I won't show you my feet, obviously, because that's weird. But um, this is what they look like. So they look pretty similar to like the Tony Moly or the Baby Feet one, where you have the booties in here, and then you put them on your feet, and then you squirt this liquid in it, and then you tie it up around your feet. Um, so let me show you the instructions. So that's probably a lot more info. So here, first you wash and dry your feet, and then you put the liquid in the sock. Then you put your foot in, and then um, after 60 to 90 minutes, dang it, um, after 60 to 90 minutes, I was hoping to like go to bed. Um, after 60 to 90 minutes, you rinse it off, and then you have uh, about seven days later, fresh feet. I hope there's English on here. I got this from TJ Maxx. Oh, okay, there is English here, yeah. So that's the info for you. Here's like the description, etc. So gonna give these a go, and I'll give you an update in about a week whether or not they work. 
As an update, um, I obviously put the booties on in the bathroom because I didn't want to spill on my rug and the hardwood floor. Um, but as an update in terms of this, it's actually not liquid in the pouch. It's more like a gel. So um, it's kind of gross putting your foot in, not gonna lie after you put the gel into the bottom of the booties um, because it's just like basically walking on, I don't know, mucus. Um, but they're on, gonna be sitting here for the next 60 to 90 minutes, so super fun. Good morning, it's Thursday. Um, I have to go into my other room, obviously for work, but uh, yeah, today I have um, a couple of interviews and then I also have this meeting that HR put on my on my calendar for, with no explanation. Um, so I think I maybe said this, but maybe not. I kept it internal, but I've been shopping around my resume or at least considering to do it for about a week now. Um, I never really seriously shopped it around until about Tuesday. Yeah, so I started applying to jobs on Tuesday. I got a couple of callbacks within an hour. Um, and then I also started sending my resume to some other like places on <laughs> this sounds so sketchy um i found some recruiters at some target companies on linkedin and then i was like hey this is my proposition um and then they invited me to send my resume over and they'll like put it to the right people so that'll be good i think um but yeah so anyway my company right now is kind of yeah <laughs> We'll see. Um, and then also, again, that HR meeting has like, been stressing me out. My guess is they're probably just going to like yell and tell me that I'm like not worth anything. But I am outperforming everyone, so it said it on all my reviews. And then on top of that, like, I think it's just the way that they do it for women. So it's like, well, we're women supporting women in HR. It's like, no, you're really not. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is Meredith, have my coffee for today. Um, I'm starting a little bit different of a vlog for here. Um, hopefully not one that is going to be repeating, um, but it's day one of unemployment. Um, I got laid off at like 4.30 yesterday. Um, kind of knew it was coming. Um, I have been having my spidey senses pretty strong since like I was on vacation last week. So I had started already applying for new jobs and have a couple of interviews lined up for today. Um, so, yeah um i still get kind of emotional about it i'm like kind of like don't really care at the same time because this company has not been great at all so as you know i haven't been happy at that company for more than a year if you've been following the vlogs i tried to like cut out most of it because again i wasn't looking to get fired or sued um but um yeah it just has been not great um and then on top of that i basically almost killed myself over the past month working long hours to get that project out the door by myself and then they waited about a week after that to terminate my contract. So it just doesn't feel so good. And I won't go into details about that either because, and then last minute I felt like they were sabotaging it because they made some changes that are going to detrimentally affect um, that particular project. Um, so anyway, that's water under the bridge now. So I have to pull myself together because I have a couple of interviews today, as I mentioned. And um, yeah. I have to also just keep applying for jobs, I guess. I just realized I should order my contacts before I lose my vision insurance because I get like, you know, how much credit per year. And I just used my 2022 credit to buy new glasses. So I was going to buy new contacts in January of 2023 so that I had contacts. So I um, missed that deadline. So February it is, I guess. <laughs> Gotta do it before I like lose all my benefits. Okay, so basically today was interviews and then talking with my former colleagues. Um, basically, yeah, super toxic. So um, the management folks decided to say that I made a personal decision to leave after talking to HR yesterday. So that's fun. Um, so everybody was like blindsided and they were like, oh my God, I can't believe you left without saying anything. I was like, yeah. Um, the other people who quit, um, quit for a lot of other reasons too. I don't know. I think this place is imploding at this point. Um, I don't know. There's not much to save. Um, I would say that my interviews are going pretty well. I think it'll be uh, very uh, interesting, to say the least. Dinner is some bisque, and I burnt my bagel, but this is dinner. Okay, so I'm obviously in my room. <laughs> it's a very weird angle. Um, but I was, like, laying with my feet on the wall. You're supposed to do that if you like are re retaining water or whatever super exciting life here as an unemployed person i don't know um yeah it's been a very interesting day let me just say that um basically yeah it's a big shake up at work we'll see <laughs> 
Today was very up and down, I would say. So um, obviously my team had a meeting about me. Um, I got a lot of outpouring support. So went through all of that process um, with everybody today basically and everybody's trying to find me a job and then I offered everybody who um, I felt like I could write a recommendation for a recommendation if they needed it for their future, that sort of thing. Um, and then I also offered for some of the folks um, that I could connect them with my colleagues and my other friends and um, contacts, etc. cetera, um, just because I want them to have a fulfilling career and stuff like that. It was also clear that there were certain people in management who didn't know that this was gonna come and they very much um, are going to connect me with their contacts so that I can get a job. Okay, so on top of that, I had a lot of other stuff going on, and the other stuff is actually infuriating as well. Um, so you know how, like, basically I didn't have a great experience getting my eyes checked? Um, honestly, I think something's messed up with my eyes because of what they did, and I just, like, don't want to deal with it, um, especially not with them again. <laughs> Um, so anyway, as a result, if you're not from the United States, this probably doesn't make any sense, but we have employer-based health insurance, and dental, and vision. Um, so I have all three because I sprung for dental this year. Um, so gotta definitely schedule that before I lose, um, my availability, not availability, you know what I mean. Um, so validity, <laughs> I can't think. I'm like so emotional right now because this is also like the 80th take. Um, so I have to do my dental, um, insurance, uh, so I have to go get a dental cleaning soon. Um, so I needed to get contact lenses this year because um, I had gotten glasses last year. So uh, I get a certain amount of money, basically in credit, for lack of a better word. There's an actual terminology um, each year. And I had decided to get glasses last year and I was going to use it for um, contacts this year. And I was going to go and get my contacts in January. But since I was working nonstop on that project, um, I didn't get a chance to do it and who would have thought that um, here we are right at the beginning of February that I will be no longer employed. Um, so anyway, I went through my um, insurer's marketplace. So I have United, they have like a contacts website. I don't know what the website address is. Um, you can link through it um, on your account. Um, it was a little bit more expensive than Costco, but um, you could use obviously my insurance <laughs> through there and I wouldn't have to like submit receipts and stuff. And I was just like kind of concerned I would either lose receipts, um, something would go haywire about it like timing wise and I wouldn't get my reimbursement. That's what the word is, reimbursement, um, or anything like that. So I went, just went through it. It was like a couple dollars extra. Um, but the problem was that that particular eye clinic was so messed up on so many levels. Again, I don't want to get sued, so I'm not going to go into detail details um but yeah so the contacts that I chose were ones that I had used in the past but then the doctor decided to write me a prescription um so then it was like a whole rigmarole and I had to go through it and then like honestly the person on the phone who was like the receptionist or somebody I don't know like you know the front desk people um they were giving me attitude and I was like is this like how you're trying to make me come in again for an eye um, contact and like checkup he was like well I mean typically yeah you're probably gonna have to come in to make sure it fits and I was like no I'm not gonna do that but also like I need you to like ap approve this he's like well you can't do that so I'm gonna have to dis like disallow it because um like the doctor's not in today and I was like what do you mean it's Friday um so it was a whole thing so I finally got it approved so yay contacts but the thing is is like they called right before my interview so I was like kind of heated for my interview um, but the interview went really well, so that one um, I'm kind of interested in, actually, it's in Boston, so I would have to move. Um, and at the end, I was like, are there any other positions that might be, like, you know, available for somebody like me? Because, like, my background is very, like, different. Like, it's very varied, but also, like, quite intense. Um, so, uh, it turns out there are. So, she... Um, had a couple of positions that are coming up in the next couple weeks. So um, she said she would put me in for those as well. So that's good. Um, I'm also like talking with my friend. So I have realized that I have a lot of really great friends basically who are willing to um, refer me to their companies. So a few of my friends are willing to do that. So um, one company is in Seattle. Um, don't really enjoy Seattle, but uh, it, it's a good opportunity. So I might um, throw my hat in there. And then also um, one's in DC. And then um, the 
interview I had yesterday, HR actually called me back twice and then also scheduled a um, follow up for next week. So that'll be good. Um, they called me back twice because they wanted to confirm some details they had written down in notes because they were like, this just seems unbelievable. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, I would also not believe it. But I said, believe it, please trust me. <laughs> Uh, but because yeah, I, there's a couple of things I'm quite excited about that, um, yeah, anyway, the other companies are obviously excited about too. So working on that as well. Um, so I need to prepare for that mentally for the interview, the next one, because I kind of really do like that company, at least for like a year, um, just so I'll have something to like hold me over and then still like make it so that I'm doing something I enjoy doing. Um, and hopefully it's not as toxic, so i mean honestly i'm going back to this and like i worked in korea which is like not known for being a very friendly workplace environment and um every place i worked in korea was better than my current um situation well former situation um i do know there are some of the things i'm like trying to work on is that i'm a very much of a perfectionist um obviously not in this like video content but like um in my like business life I expect things to be a certain way and a certain standard and I'm not okay with having things that are visually not up to snuff <laughs> so um, working through trying to like be okay with imperfections but um, yeah anyway I am rambling at this point like I probably should have leisure read <laughs> like you know um, but I was also like mentally preparing for like being on the cruise and leisure reading a lot so I don't know Oh, and my friend still hasn't checked in, so I'm a little bit concerned about that, but that's a off the subject thing. So that is going to be a wrap for this first day of unemployment. Um, I'm going to just keep the weekends in my life going, so um, I will check in with you tomorrow morning and start a new weekend in my life in New York City, so see you then. Um, also follow me over on Instagram, maybe I'm posting more these days, I don't know, hopefully by the time you see this I'm fully and gainfully employed again, but who knows, <laughs> we'll see.